Bishop Jennifer here. I am so looking forward to being with all of you at the 180th Convention of the Episcopal Diocese of Indianapolis. When we gather together in Bloomington in a little bit of time, we'll have the opportunity to share our lives with one another for a couple of days, to do some learning, to have fun, and I hope to think really deeply about how God is calling us to be church in this day. You've often heard, I hope, us talk about us as being grounded in God and Christ's love in order to reach out with a radical welcome and a bold witness to serve and transform our world. The work set forth before us, as we've been talking about over the last year and a half, is to be beacons of Jesus Christ for central and southern Indiana and the world, to support a missional mindset, which is about going out in new ways to spread God's love in the world, we're about equipping lay and clergy leaders to lead, to lead effectively for the church that is today and the church that is coming that we do not yet know. We're called to stand with the vulnerable and marginalized and to transform systems of injustice. And we're called to be better networked and connected, both to one another within our church and to all those who want to come alongside of us as we collaborate with God in transforming the world. That is our work. As I've gone about the diocese over the last year and a half, I've often said to you, here's a permission slip, go and try something new. I hope that sounds a little bit familiar as I've, I've encouraged you to take a risk to try a new thing, a new project, a new way of worshiping, a new way of doing and being church together, and to risk failing and then getting up and trying all over again. That's exactly what we'll be doing together as we gather a convention and consider a resolution that will allow the Executive Council to experiment with our deanery structure. We know that deaneries work really well in some places and in others, they need a little bit of help or re-envisioning. You might even hear us experimenting with new language. We're going to try on the language of neighborhoods as a way to think about our regional groupings. And we are going to invite those who are elected to convention as delegates to perhaps lean into a new way of living out that office in ways that help to connect us between convention and not just when we gather once a year. There are a lot of things that we might imagine doing and I hope we'll have a chance to experiment and talk about those possibilities when we get together. But the resolution coming to us will allow the council to have a little bit of room to experiment with, with acknowledging with some transparency and light, we hope, that we are taking a time for experimentation before we kind of settle down with firm canonical structures about our structure. So I invite you to come to convention with an open heart and an open mind, with a readiness to explore some new ways of being so that we can be faithful in our day to the gospel work that we are called to do. We know that the world is all in too much need of God's love and we know that that love of God is out there waiting for us to encounter it. And so we look forward to our convention where we can celebrate that walk and witness that we offer and then kind of organize ourselves for business so that we can do that mission and ministry more effectively. I look forward to seeing you there.